China panic. U.S. and allies intercept the Chinese monster ship near Ionjin Shoal. The intrusive patrol by the Chinese Coast Guard came a day after Manila and Beijing held a meeting aimed to easing tensions in the South China Sea. A Chinese Coast Guard ship, dubbed the largest in the world, was seen patrolling near the Ionjin Shoal on Wednesday just a day after the Philippines and China held a meeting aimed to maintain peace in the disputed South China Sea. The 165-meter-long Chinese Coast Guard ship with bow number 5901, known as the Monster for its size, have carried out an intrusive patrol near Ionjin Shoal at about 7 a.m., former U.S. Air Force officer Ray Powell said on X. The vessel had also joined a smaller Chinese Coast Guard ship with bow number 5203, Powell added. Ayunjin Shale, also known as Second Thomas Shoal, is an offshore region where Philippine naval personnel are stationed on a long-grounded warship that China's Coast Guard and Navy have observed for years amid a years-long territorial standoff. This come a day after the Philippines and China held a consultative meeting aimed at easing tensions in the South China Sea and promoting bilateral ties between the two nations in Manila on July 2. Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Chen Shaodong met with Maria Teresa P. Lazaro, Philippine Undersecretary of the Department of Foreign Affairs, in its ninth meeting of the Bilateral Consultation Mechanism on the South China Sea the Chinese Foreign Ministry said in a statement. Both figures discussed possible solutions regarding the South China Sea, including China's recent patrols near the Rinai Jiao the Chinese name for Second Thomas Shoal and the adjacent waters. The pair shared a candid and constructive exchange of views on the situation in the South China Sea and affirm their position to maintaining peace and stability in the South China Sea serves the interests of both China and the Philippines. The foreign ministry said the Chinese delegation urges their Philippine counterpart to stop maritime infringement and provocative actions in the sea, and work with China in managing the situation at Rinai Jiao to stabilize China-Philippines relations from further deterioration. Despite the two countries' dialogue, there was no mention of any major agreement as China seeks to maximize its leverage on the use of its coastal guard and fishing militia comprised of fisher boats supplied and trained by the military needed to assert its expansive claims to the South China Sea. Powell told ABS-CBN News, From Chinese perspective, it helps them to have more force projected and especially something large like the monster ship helps them to say, we have you at a disadvantage, so you should have negotiated more on our terms. China always places the first responsibility for the de-escalation on the other party. So, China has deployed its Coast Guard into the Philippine waters as a way of letting the Philippines know that it still claims jurisdiction, and again they want to be able to negotiate on the de-escalation on terms favorable to China. Their meeting came a few weeks after Chinese and Philippine personnel came to direct physical blows on July 17. In which the China Coast Guard blocked a resupply mission to the Philippine garrison stationed on the disputed shoal. Several Filipino soldiers were injured after Chinese Coast Guard personnel on speedboats reportedly rammed and then towed two Philippine rubber boats that were delivering supplies, including food, water and firearms, to the BRP Sierra Madre, a warship that the Philippine Navy had grounded on the shoal as an outpost in 1999. At least eight Filipino Navy personnel were wounded, including one who reportedly lost a thumb. In the ensuring scuffle, Philippine security officials told the Associated Press. China and the Philippines have blamed each for the incident, with the latter denouncing the Chinese Coast Guard's continued aggressive behavior and unprofessional conduct towards a legitimate humanitarian mission is unacceptable. The Chinese Coast Guard, on the other hand, denounced the Philippines as entirely responsible for the incident, 
saying that AA Philippine vessel ignored China's repeated solemn warnings and dangerously approached a Chinese vessel in normal navigation in an unprofessional manner, resulting in a collision. June's incident marked one of the worst confrontations over the disputed South China Sea that sparked fears of a wider conflict that could involve the United States, a key strategic ally of the Philippines. A Philippine Navy spokesperson said in a press conference on Tuesday that any ship entering the vicinity of the country's maritime waters receive radio frequencies. We check their course, their speed, their name, where they come from, where they're heading to, which is part of an established practice of navies and coast guards and merchant vessels all over the world, Rear Admiral Roy Vincent Trinidad told reporters. Some of them reply, some of them do not. But I would like to emphasize these are not only Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy ships that we challenge. All ships to include commercial vessels that transit through our sea lane are regularly challenged. On a given day, we challenge hundreds of them, all over the country," Trinidad continued. We check their course, their speed, their name, where they come from, where they're heading to, which is part of an established practice of navies and coast guards and merchant vessels all over the world," Rear Admiral Roy Vincent Trinidad told reporters. Some of them reply, some of them do not. But I would like to emphasize these are not only Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy ships that we challenge. All ships to include commercial vessels that transit through our sea lane are regularly challenged. On a given day, we challenge hundreds of them, all over the country," Trinidad continued.